Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn about the .env file in the React Native. So somehow we have a configurations that we put it from the .env file. So what exactly it is, we are going to learn in this video. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do hit like and share and comment on it. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have going to use the package that is .env, react native .env that is basically used for the configuration file. Okay, so whatever configuration that you want to insert in that file and you will get it into your respective component. Okay, so let's have a look how we are going to do that. So first of all, we have to install this package. So here we go with this package installation. It has pretty much downloads with the, this much. Okay, so let's copy this one and go to our folder which this one and open in the terminal so we are going to install this package first paste this after this you need to create a .env file in your system so it is like look like this one so dot env file that you need to be added so that you can add those static variables which are constants you can add it over here so go and add this one create a file over here open in a new terminal and uh, add this file uh, touch dot env okay so env file is created you can see that open this file and we are going to adding the same thing that what they have added. So I'm going to use this API URL and the API token, right? And I have added this one. And the, in the same time, I'm, I need to import this like this one. So I'll just copy this and go to the app.js file. So where we go with app.js. So in the last module, we have added this much, right? So I'm going to use in this module, okay? So here I need to add this, import this API URL and API token. Okay, at the rate env. And let's moving to the next, we need to add like this, we need to use this one. So whether you want to use this API URL and API token. So I'm going to console.log these two things, okay? Whether it is fetching or not, we are going to show that if it is fetching, then we will use it in our module or something else, right? So here we go with this one. So I'm going to use this one, API URL. In a commented mount, I'm going to console.log, console.log. Uh, API URL and another one variable is that is API token, right? I'm just cop going to copy it and paste it. Okay, just and I'm going to make a build right now. So here we go with the build. So React Native Android, go to with this one, paste this and let's make a build. So it will create a build right now. Let's run the another one that is the server. Copy this and I'm going to run in a, another window. Sorry. Control C. Okay, so it's adding. Let's have a look the build. So it's opening. Let's go to the JS file. API URL and this is scroll could not env cannot be found within the project, but we have added right. Let's have a look how, where it is. So I'm going to open in a VS code. So here we have go with VS code. Okay. Or we can directly go and check with this part. Okay. So let's go with this toast. And we are going to open with another application, VS Code. So I'm, I have to go to open this application. Go to the app.js file. Okay. And here we go with this one. Let's have a look. It's not placing up. Okay. So I'm going to add uh, env. It's not at the rate, at the rate uh, env. So it's, I think it's not installing. We need to always check this react native dot env. I'm going to add this one. 
so it's there let's run this rerun this reload this is it on the same platform reload okay let's have a look what exactly they are saying mm -hmm. dot env dot env it's not there they're not there okay let's have a uh, look for the package maybe dot env dot env react native dot env so it's it's making the sense uh, file system required dot env is this working or not let's have a look on that reload this reload path to the env uh, unable to resolve the path could not be found within the node modules okay so i think here we need to pass the dot env i guess we need to pass the dot env dot env i guess let me check this here we have the or env port env let's have a look env dot console dot log env dot api url and env dot api token let's have a look is it working or not control this reset the cache reload this reload unable to resolve the path could not found the node modules this directory let me review this part control z this 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 Let's have a look how it is it is. Because this needs to be added. Dot env, right? So it is env, cons env and export env. If it is otherwise we have done other function that is process.env if it is used over here then it is okay process.env dot api url and here we can add process dot env dot api token right let's have a look reload this now you can see that right so we have the undefined and undefined in that part right so this is the ip is reflecting and this is please console.log undefined and undefined okay so let's see what exactly it is process.env is gonna be undefined if i put the env dot url Process.api URL, process.api URL. Let me have a look on that. Load. So I think it's not it's there. Let me check this part. What's exactly the issue it is. Uh, previously it's not working. I uh, One thing that I have missed is that we, we haven't updated the Babel config.js so we need to update this part so here we go with the module exports dot plugins so let's have a look where it is so here we go with this one so where it is Babel config.js file so here we have the module export presets is there rest of the part is not there module preset is there and the plugins we haven't added like this so we need to add this here we need to add this like this Okay, so plugins I have updated with this one and now we have to add with the, this part at the rate env so 
here we go with that this one at the rate env at the rate env okay so let's have a look is it uh, working or not let's have a look reload this let me refresh this app so you can see that uh, http ap example dot org there and abcd one two three is there you can see that both that are processed in the env right so you can see that in the env what we have added is where it is env so let me open it again uh, so here we go with this one so https ap example dot org and ap token is abc one two three and you can see that this is the abc123 is also there and both the things are also there so this is how we can create the dot env file and if you are missing this step right uh, in the babel.config.js file so it will not going to work for you so you need to add this in your uh, babel.config.js file then you can import with that part and you can use the env file variables easily so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and comment on my video and please do subscribe my channel to reach me on the one lakh subscribers okay thank you so much for your support have a great day